Hi everyone, this is Lisa with Lisa's Coloring Corner. If you're new here, hi and welcome to the channel. And if you're back, welcome back. We have another mythographic book. Again, this has been out for a little bit. I'm just getting to it after being gone from the channel for a few months. This one is called Magical Earth and is by Joseph Cattenbang. So this is the gorgeous, colorful front cover. The covers on these mythographic books are always so gorgeous. The back cover. Take a moving, magical tour of our beautiful planet. Explore the world like never before. This book invites you on an artful journey of sweeping prospects, natural wonders, beautiful animals, and hidden fairy kingdoms. Each page reveals boldly imaginative characters and landscapes in stunning detail. Immerse yourself in more than 40 surreal illustrations and bring each new and enchanting realm to life with a splash of color. Okay, Ooh. so got a lot of pictures in here and I'm sure as usual these are quite detailed but I love the fact and I think this is true for most of us. Um, I did have a comment or two in a past flip of a mythographic book. Um, I like the fact that there are no longer those hidden objects. <laughs> like I said, I did have one or two individuals that said they enjoyed them, but I think the vast majority of them are glad they're gone. <laughs> There's a couple of illustrators that had all those hidden objects, right? And they've kind of done away with them, so I am glad about that. So here we have our title page, no nameplate page. These books are on very nice heavy paper and they are all perforated and single sided. So if you do like using alcohol markers, you can maybe as a base coat and then using pencils over the top. Oh, so gorgeous. His work is just incredible. Look at the detail though. Whew. Like I stated in another flip through, I think it was of Johanna's, I get so overwhelmed when I look at pictures like this that are just so busy and so detailed. Oh, isn't that cute? But I have to remind myself, oh, look at all the butterflies. You know, just concentrate on a, a butterfly or two for that coloring session. Put it aside, pick it back up again at a later date. Concentrate on another aspect. Oh, gorgeous. Oh, look at the baby. I've seen diamond paintings like this where you have the little one up here, and then in the reflection, you have the grown-up version. There's quite a few diamond paintings out like that. It's the first time I've seen a coloring page like that, though. All these water lilies, dragonflies. Oh, my gosh. This would be beautiful colored in, but that would take a while. <laughs> of course, you don't have to blend, you know, multiple colors into one another. You can just color it straight. That would be another area, though. Um, be, you know, you could maybe put down a watercolor base and then just color with pencil over the top. It's always, you know, when you do something that like that, when you put a, a base down and color over the top, it's easier because you're not steady, starting out with the color white. You already have a base color. Same with this down here. You could do the same thing. And this paper is so nice and heavy. Watercolor mediums work nice in these kind of heavier paged books. As long as you don't, you know, oversaturate it with too much water. 
If you need the color darker, of course, leave the page dry first. Then go back in with more of your watercolor medium. Beautiful jellyfish. She's trapped inside the bottle. Oh, look at the toy bill. That is one fancy <laughs> honeybee nest. Wow. They got a fancy house. Oh my goodness. Oh, just gorgeous. Seems like we have this little girl in a lot of the pictures, don't we? Beautiful giraffe. Just a surfing away. Beautiful. <laughs> Just lounging around in this waterfall or rapids or whatever you want to call it. Them is some big fish or else they're really small. <laughs> oh, I love this picture. Oh, look at that gorgeous owl. Wow. I know we have some owl lovers out there. This one's not quite as detailed, except for down here a little bit, but. Oh, look at the hummingbirds. Love hummingbirds. I wonder what all these uh, boxes are for over here. Hmm. That's neat. We have the hanging flower pot and then this inside. Oh, I see. I miss these. We have a few of them. Some ladybugs. Looks to be a railway car. Must have been there a while because we got trees and tree roots growing into it. I'm just amazed at his talent. Oh, I can't imagine how long it takes to draw each one of these. And there are a number of mythographic books coming out next year and of course I have them pre-ordered <laughs> I think one is coming out the first quarter of next year I can't remember for sure which month oh look at the bunnies oh my gosh that is so cute. Big jellyfish. Oh, look at that. Again, so much detail. We have a sleeping dragon down here. All these crystals. Oh, look at the sloth. She's sleeping on the sloth belly. They're so cute. <laughs> 
you know, you first flip to a picture and you're just, what's all going on in here? What's it a picture of? <laughs> because there's just so, so much. Is that a caterpillar? <laughs> Looks like it. Now this one isn't quite as detailed, a little bit busy in here, but it's mostly the vine. So that wouldn't be quite as bad. Again, definitely not a picture you would color in one or two sittings. Look at the contrast. You know, here we almost have not quite grayscale, but it's like a stippling where it shows you where the shading is. That's kind of neat. Oh, beautiful horse. I love the paper these are printed on. And I love the fact they're single-sided. Like we have some ballerinas in here. Don't worry about that sound. That's just the <laughs> perforation lines. You know, the perforated area kind of sticking together. Awesome oh, deer. Especially here in the back, you can hear that a lot. A oh, moose. It's like she wants to give the moose a hug. <laughs> You're pretty small to give that moose a hug. Beautiful butterflies and a flamingo. And that is it. Here are six of the other mythographic books. So I believe I have all these and I do a flip throughs of them all on my channel. If you look in the flip throughs playlist, we have Frozen Fantasies, Dream Garden, uh, Wanderlust, Wild Winter, Voyage and Menagerie. Now some of these are by Joseph Kattenbang and then a few of them are by uh, Fabiano uh, Atanasio. Most of them are by Joseph Kattenbang though. And that is it. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, I will leave a link to this gorgeous book down below in the description if you would like to go check it out on Amazon for yourself. Thank you so much for watching this flip through. I really appreciate it. As always, if you enjoyed it, please hit that thumbs up button before you leave and leave any questions, comments, or concerns down in the comment section below. Of course, if you're not already subscribed, please consider doing so. I hope everybody's having a fantastic day. I'll see you in my next video. And as always, happy coloring. Bye, guys. Thank you.